Hey there, Deborah Donaldson here, and in today's video, I'm going to be covering how to create a lead capture funnel in Go High Level. Now, you want to uh, create one of these funnels because, as an affiliate marketer, it's very important that you start collecting email addresses of your leads or subscribers who are interested in hearing from you. Number one, it gives you a way to follow up with your subscribers. Number two, you can provide additional information. And number three, you can promote some uh, um, other offers. For, a, for most people, it's in the email follow-up that most of the profit is created. So if you are not creating um, an email list, you might be missing out on a lot of sales. And so what I wanted to do was show you uh, how to create one of these funnels. And <clears throat> in order to do it, you need to have some sort of lead magnet. And a lead magnet might be a PDF, it might be a, a book, it might be a checklist, how to. And in one of my previous videos, I walk you through how to create a lead magnet for free. So um, make sure you watch that video so you can get your lead, ma lead magnet created. And then with this video, I'm going to show you how to create the lead magnet funnel, which is very important for collecting leads and providing value to your subscribers. So let's get going. Okay, here we are at my lead capture at my... Um, lead capture funnel it is my um actually my lead magnet funnel this is the first page this is the opt-in where they're going to give me their name and email address or just their email address and then there's the thank you page that tells them how they are going to receive receive the product so i made these bigger so the landing page, I've got the little video that talks about the fast track, and then I've got email, and yes, I want this, and a little bit about it. So once they enter in their email address and click yes, I want this, it goes to what we call a bridge page or um, page that tells them how they're going to be receiving this. Uh, click check your email for instant access and where the email's coming from, and here's a little bit about it and uh, click here to learn more and then it is going to go on to the next page. So this is very easy to build. So the first thing we're going to do here is we are going to um, create a new step and I'll just make this a demo. So we'll say demo, demo opt-in, uh, demo opt-in and create funnel step and so we are starting from blank there we go and this is loading and then um, if you don't have a lead magnet then you want to make sure you have create one before you start building your funnel so we want a full width <clears throat> and I'm going to add a row and actually I want two rows because I want my video and then I want a opt-in form off to the right. So I'm gonna say two columns. <clears throat> and on this first column, I'm going to um, add a video. And then I'm gonna add a little headline, call to action. <clears throat> and then underneath this, we're gonna add the video. There we go, <clears throat> that's what I wanted. And then over here on the right, we're going to add an element, and let's just say a bullet list. And underneath the bullet list, we are going to add a form. So we're going to need to create a form, <clears throat> and we're going to need to have our um, lead magnet. So uh, let's see. Here we go. Let's do the headline. Here is your cool lead magnet uh, and actually <clears throat> if you didn't want to do a video you could do a um, could do a book and you would just put your image in there so <clears throat> if we wanted to do a book let's see because a lot of people are intimidated by video so let's get rid of video let's just do a book and we're gonna do an image so on the left here I'm gonna go to my <clears throat> excuse me my images library and uh, let's see here let's do this one here uh, 
This is for the ClickFunnels Summit. And uh, so this is uh, showing that I actually purchased the book and then I can talk about what all they're gonna get. <coughs> Sorry. Here is cool feature number number one and awesome some benefit number two and let's see here so we want a little bit of space between those so let's go um, margin at the top well we don't want the margin at the top let's go actually let's just do a space in between here there we go benefit number two okay so next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to save this because I'm gonna go over and create my form so I'm gonna save this I'm not gonna worry about uh, updating the metadata and um, let's come over here to back to here and I'm going to go to forms and I'm gonna open it in a new tab so I don't have to worry about it and here we are so this is gonna load so I'm gonna create my form and usually I just go for email address that tends to convert the best the more information you ask for the um, less likely it is that people are going to enter in their information so usually going with an email address is sufficient and that will get them onto your email list so i'm going to create a new form so this just brings up a generic form or a blank space to create your form and form number one i want to name this um here we go so i clicked on options form number one is demo opt-in Okay, and then once you know where you're going to be sending people, you can either send them to a bridge page, uh, which was the second page that I showed you, or you can send them directly to the offer. So um, let's go here and say uh, dealmonson.com oh, forward slash recommends forward slash affiliate marketing fast track. There we go. I don't have a Facebook pixel uh, on form submit the application there we go and let's see we want uh, so I'm gonna click in here and let's go back here to fields I'm gonna want email so I just drag that over and I'm going to want um, actually I want some text at the top which says a little bit about what this is about so my forms don't get mixed up so I'm gonna say uh, and I also want it centered, so let's go here. I'm going to say, oops, let's go back here to text. I'm going to say this is a demo opt-in form for YouTube video. And I want that centered. There we go. I want the email and then the other thing that I'm going to want is a button. So I'm going to go back here to fields and I'm going to drag over a button. And the button, again, I'm gonna want this centered, and instead of just saying button, I'm gonna say, I want this awesome opt-in form. And uh, I want it to be full width, there we go. And background color, let's make this a jazzy blue color just for fun, jazzy blue. And then I want the text to be text to be black. So let's go back to styles. Font color here is going to be black. Oh, let's go back to the button. Uh, text is going to be black. There we go. Uh, so here's our form. And then I'm going to save the form. And then I can go back to the page that I was building, my form builder, go back to the funnel builder. And it says, do not have any forms yet. So I'm gonna say, I've got my form now and select my form is going to be demo, BC, demo opt-in. There we go, there's my demo opt-in. 
And to make this match a little bit better, let's put a little bit of space between my headline and the other. So let's go, whoops, we want the margin at the top. Let's click here. We want the margin at the top. There we go. Let's try and get it a little more balanced. There we go. So here we have our thing. So when they enter their email address and click this awesome form, the way it's set up right now is it's going to take them directly uh, to whatever offer I entered. It doesn't relate to this picture since this is just a demo. So let's save this. And if you want them to go to a bridge page so that they know that they have to check their email to get this awesome deal, uh, on the bridge page then what you would do is say, uh, well actually let's just go create one. So we're going to go back here and uh, let's, actually let's go back here and we're going to actually create a bridge page. And uh, then you can change the link in your form to go to the bridge page and then um, then they know that they've opted in and to check their email for the link to this product. So, so if you're going to do it that way, you need to make sure you've got your email that's going to give them access to the product right away because people don't want to wait for their product. So you need to set the email to go out right away with a link to the product. So this will be demo bridge. So the bridge page is also called the thank you page. Let's go to blank. And let's go in here to, we'll say full width, add a row. Um, yeah, we can just make it one column. Add an element, we'll say headline, and we're gonna say, uh, check your email for access to this product. And then I'm going to do a subheadline to let them know. Um, email, email is from blank, 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 blank. Uh, and we'll say make sure to check your spam or junk folder if you do not see it right away. Okay. Um, and then you can add, you can even add, um, you can add a button for contact me if you wanted to say contact me with any problems and hook it up to your messenger. Uh, so you could say uh, click here to contact me with questions. There we go. And if you wanted to do the background in a certain color, you could make it um, background color. Let's do blue. There we go. So once they enter in their email address and click, they're going to be sent here. And then if they have any questions, they can click there. And then in the first email, you have to make sure that you give them access to the product right away. The other option or way to do this is uh, to just have your um, just have your landing page. Let's go ahead and save this. Is to just have your landing page and then just send them directly to the offer, and then their email address will be through the form. So, so here we go. You created your. Uh, lead magnet funnel page. You've got your image of your giveaway, which I said could be a PDF, it could be a checklist. You can list some benefits. Here's what you get, blah, blah, blah. You've got your form, you're getting their email address, and then when they click this, uh, it's gonna send them either directly to the website that's got your PDF, or it's gonna take them to a bridge page which says check your email uh, and the link to this product is going to be directly in your email. I hope that's clear and I will see you on the next one.